If you've been following news related to modern military vehicles, you've likely seen that manufacturers from nations like the United States and Germany have been releasing early photos and footage of their latest tech. This got me thinking. These companies spend countless hours and dollars on research and development for these new designs. Could there be a better way though? With the increasing sophistication of AI, could we slash the upfront costs of these projects by using algorithms to use all available data to create the most effective combat vehicles the world has ever seen? Many might see this as walking right into a Skynet type scenario, but as we are putting ourselves in the shoes of the military industrial complex, that tiny global catastrophe can be ignored as this would increase profits exponentially. Before we start discussing next gen weapons using the power of technology, I have to give a quick thanks to today's sponsor, the Tank Encyclopedia. As many of you know, the Tank Encyclopedia is an amazing online source for information of many different vehicles from different periods, but you may not know they also have their own magazine. You can grab this for only $5 per issue from Payhip. You can also get all 7 issues for an even cheaper price of around $26, plus by using the code Cone of Arc, you can save 10% on your purchase. If you're a fan of military vehicles and want to support the great work these guys do, I highly recommend checking it out. Now I may not have access to the world's most advanced AI or supercomputers, but recent memes have shown the power behind the program known as Dell E Mini. With its ability to generate things of this magnitude, I think we can safely say it will work as a perfect test medium for our experiment today. Step 1 of our new artificial intelligence design is to determine the basic aspects of our vehicle. For this, I input a fairly simple query of best tank for 2022 and beyond. We see here that clearly a turret and angular hull design are preferable according to this highly advanced algorithm. I think we can safely confirm a traditional layout similar to current MBTs. With that verified, we can dive further into the specifics starting with the suspension. As if a mist was removed, it all becomes clear now. Past tanks have foolishly used complex systems such as torsion bars when the answer has been staring us in the face this whole time. Simple coil springs. When we attach these to the best MBT road wheels, the AI shows us that our feeble-minded efforts in the past are dwarfed by the simple task of looking at traditional automobile designs. In a strange twist, it also appears that an interleaved setup is best for our design. Clearly, the Panther was onto something. All this pales in comparison to the near biblical revelation we are graced with when we ask for the best running gear. The answer should have been clear by the name, running gear. But all this time we focused instead on continuous tracks instead of actual running gear. By combining the advanced materials used for running socks, we create adaptive and durable tracks which are easily repaired regardless of the theater our tank finds itself in. It also quiets our vehicle down by eliminating the noise caused by steel tracks, increasing the stealth factor. With our suspension finalized, we can move on to the hull, which this will mount to. It seems that at least for this portion of the design, us humans were actually on the right track. A nice slope on the front with flat sides and side screens covering the tracks, which can be removed. Overall, nothing new, but combined with our new suspension, a solid improvement nonetheless. Some of you are probably thinking right now, what about an engine? And you are entirely correct. Once again, the AI delivers. Clearly with fuel prices increasing, we have no choice but to return to more traditional methods of power such as those found in early trains. By fitting our tank with a steam engine, we not only make the vehicle more environmentally sustainable, it also allows the crew to refuel anywhere as long as they have access to trees or coal. This power will be delivered to the tracks through our gearbox here, which may need some refinement, but I trust the AI knows what it's doing. Moving to the turret, we find something quite unexpected. Quite the opposite of what current events may indicate, the Russians seem to be on the right track with adding additional roof armor, although they have not fully developed the concept. Our tank will not have a thin armor umbrella, 
but rather an additional turret box. Along with adding additional protection to the roof, this allows for housing of things such as active protection systems or drones, something which is becoming increasingly common in real-world designs. For a primary weapon, the AI does not give us a particular answer. This makes sense though, as depending on the nation, the weapon available could be different. With the new NATO armament seeming to be moving towards the 130mm cannon, I think that would be a good choice for this design. This gives us our final design, pieced together from the best possible components. All this was completed in just a few hours of designing using a free tool. Really shows the power of artificial intelligence as a tool for future warfare. You may think we are done, but as great as our tank is, we still can't rely on an unmanned vehicle. We also need a crew for this vehicle. Our crew's equipment will be unique, having padded wraps making up the entire outfit with a chest plate to protect the vitals. Yet another innovative idea which will protect the crew from the jostling inside the tank as it moves. Overall, I think this video has thoroughly proven that we should not be wasting millions or even billions of dollars on next generation weapon designs. I hope this design will influence future projects with the superior aspects it possesses. Now I just need to find someone to buy it from me. Perhaps if this video does well enough and there's clear interest, we can return to our advanced design with additional AI to see if we can test our vehicle on a hypothetical battlefield. If you'd like to see that, be sure to let me know. Special thanks to Tenpoint for helping bring this design to life with their art. If you'd like to see your art of this tank in a future video or just want to make fan art for the channel, I would love to see it and you can send it to me in the fan art chat on my Discord. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It might be a little less serious than most of my content, but I figured it would be a fun experiment. If you like this video, consider checking out some of my other ones and subscribing if you like what you see. As always, thank you to my channel members, and one last thanks to the Tank Encyclopedia magazine for their support of my channel. For another video sort of like this, I recommend checking out my video on the E79, which was made for a video game, but somehow managed to get people to believe it was a real design. I'll see you there.